quite the shock for a Newburgh family saying that their horses were attacked by an animal and they believe it was a cougar. However, the Department of Fish and Wildlife doesn't think so. It happened three different times in the Parrot Mountain area east of Newburgh. Our Jacqueline Abad looks into the attack. On Monday, the Ott family had to put down one of their beloved horses after she was injured for a third time. Their vet believes it was a possible cougar attack, but ODFW says that the injuries are not consistent with a cougar. She was one in a million, if not um, harder to find. She was my baby. She could be very, very sweet when she wanted to. This is Chips. She was a show horse and mom to this two year old horse named Arthur. In the past few months, she's been attacked three times. He had initial bite wounds that maybe he got attacked first. She had all the defensive marks of the claws, bites to her neck, slashes to the shoulders. That was attack number one. It happened again in October and recently on Monday. That was one the vet came out and her the leg injury on her back leg either broke the bone or bone got infected right away. So basically she couldn't stand on that leg anymore. Unfortunately, they had to put her down. And after every incident, the Ots say they called the Department of Fish and Wildlife. Ideally, I would just like them to come up and hopefully hunt for it, search for it. ODFW says they came out during the first incident back in June and released this statement. While our conclusion contradicts the Ots veterinarian, again, six staff from two different wildlife agencies with years of experience investigating wildlife depredations reach a consensus that the available evidence does not support an attack by a cougar. Arthur's back leg was hurt in the first incident and he's still recovering. The Ots are worried for their other horses and so until they get more answers, they're not letting their horses back in the pasture. We were just frustrated mainly because we wanted to get their story out to people. Let people know we have the public trails right behind our property where it happens. We were concerned about other people up here. We were concerned about our neighbors. Fish and Wildlife says they do not want to speculate on what may have caused the injury. They also said that they are willing to speak with the Ott family further on this issue. And in all of this, the community has been very supportive of the family and helping with some of their vet bills. We have that GoFundMe on our website, coin.com. Reporting in Newburgh, Jacqueline Abad, Coin 6 News.